Okay, uh, here's the biker beanie helmet. This is the smallest DOT uh, rated half helmet on the market. Um, it is also supposedly the lightest helmet on the market as well. And uh, just showing you the difference between the what this looks like compared to a very popular helmet, the uh, Cena Calvary helmet. The Cena Calvary helmet has Bluetooth. This doesn't have any of those things. Um, my biggest concern when I got the Calvary helmet, I was told, I saw a lot of reviews on that helmet and they said it looks good on it looks good on you, it doesn't give you that mushroom head look to it and I, I kind of disagree. Um, I don't really, I'm actually opting to, to use uh, Apple ear pods in my ears and these, this particular helmet, I got the optional ear pads on the side, I think it was an extra $10 or $15. To, to buy that. I think the actual helmet was like uh, $75 to $90, I forget, but it's it's very inexpensive helmet. It is DOT approved again, and just want, wanted you guys to see the difference. So let's get on with it. You can see what it looks like from the front. I will show you another video what the uh, what the Cena Calvary looks like on, on my head too. But here's what it looks like. I'm going to take uh, glasses off so you can see the difference. The overhang is it's really low on the sides all the way around. It doesn't have that much as much padding as the Cena Calvary, but it looks better and it is still DOT approved. So let's look at it from different angles. Here's this, here's the front view. Here's the side view. Center. Profile again. And I'm going to do a 360. Forward. Going all the way around. There you have it. I think this looks a lot better than the Cena Calvary. Here's the uh, Cena Calvary helmet. Um, a lot of people, I, I saw one uh, YouTube video where the guy said, oh, this thing looks great. It doesn't make you look like a mushroom head. And I gotta disagree. Especially, you'll really notice, especially if I take my glasses off, there's a lot of uh, overhang here on each side right here. Let me put my glasses on and we'll do some uh, different angles so you can compare the Cena Calvary. This has Bluetooth and stuff, so it's a little bit more fancy, but but uh, anyways, but here's here's the difference you can see. This is dead on. Profile shot. Dead on. Profile shot. Going around to the back. coming back to the front. So this is the Cena Calvary helmet. Just to, I don't even think this uh, video does justice to the size difference between these two. It's just so much, it looks so much bigger and so much bigger of a difference in real life. This is the biker beanie. Um, it's, it's a lot smaller than the uh, Cena uh, Calvary helmet. Maybe a, you can see the difference going this way. Eh, not really, but it, it really is a lot big, big big difference between those two helmets okay okay this is the biker beanie and here's the Cena Calvary you can see the difference you can see the difference in thickness these are both extra large and you can see there's a there's a huge difference in size between these two even though they're both extra large helmets um, there's a there's a lot thicker padding in here and that's what contributes to its mushroom head look the padding on here is much much thinner and I've got the optional earpieces these were like 10 15 dollars and uh, the weight difference between these two is phenomenal this thing feels the Cena feels twice as heavy now this in all fairness this has Bluetooth this has Bluetooth and uh, built in so uh, there's reasons behind that but uh, even without it I'm sure it wouldn't make it that much that much lighter so there's there's the difference between the two so this is 
it's like one of the lightest helmets I've ever put in my hands. And this is not, this isn't really not that heavy, but it's still twice as heavy as this, this one right here. This is really light, really light, small and compact and has a real good profile. It is uh, DOT approved and this is an extra large, like I said. And uh, another thing about this helmet is it has a ratcheting, has a ratcheting strap. It's not super high quality, um, like you would see on, you know, a premium brand helmet. I'm not sure about the long, long, longevity of it, but uh, it's a ratcheting tile style. Um, it has adjustments here, so you can still adjust it even beyond the ratcheting mechanism. And uh, just to give you a comparison, here's the, uh, again, here's the Cena Calvary helmet. It's a really good quality helmet, not going to lie with you there, but... Uh, it's really big and has a big profile. It has a regular D-ring. Anyways, here's the Calvary helmet. This is DOT. I put my little Harley sticker on the back to hide that because I liked, I don't like that. <laughs> to, I don't like that to see a giant DOT uh, sign on the back, but um, sometimes people need to see it if you're going through a, a writer's course or something. They'll want to see that it's DOT approved. And here's just another look of this helmet, it's so light. And uh, so far, so far I really like it. Haven't even tried it out on the bike. Oh, when I did get the ear pads and I put little safety pins on it. It has Velcro, but uh, I'm afraid it'll slip up and down. So I put little safety pins on both sides. That's my own little modification before I even, uh, before I even use it. Um, it does also have its own uh, helmet cover. That came with it.